What's up guys, it's Jeff Chan from MA Shredded and we are here at the Toronto Pearson Airport and we are heading to Argentina. So Argentina is one of the countries that my fiance has never traveled to and she's traveled to 65 different countries. I hope to catch up to her, but I probably won't because she's always with me when we travel now. So she's going for the mountains, but I'm going for steak and the training. Gracias. So after 30 hours of traveling, we finally arrived to Patagonia. We're here having our first meal. If you didn't know, Argentina is known for their red meat. The quality is great and it's very affordable. This meal here, a ribeye, is $8 USD, but back at home, it costs minimum $30 to $50. I'm gonna have my first bite. Delicious. So, as I said, this is our first meal, first steak. I'm gonna update you whether the meals get better or worse. <laughs> cheaper or more pricey. Okay, so I checked out this next restaurant. This meal definitely got better in price, quantity, and quality. Two pieces of cow ribs for 760 USD and three other pieces of ribeye steak each for 809 USD. Then I ordered a tomahawk steak for $9.50, a ribeye steak here for $8.09, more ribeye steak but with rice and egg for $7.14. Same restaurant, ribeye steak again, but with fries and two eggs for $8.09. Okay, so you guys get the point. I think I might just become a food blogger. So we had a jam-packed two and a half weeks of traveling to five different towns, sightseeing glaciers that is actually quickly melting away, mountain hiking to see some of Argentina's most iconic viewpoints, my first time horseback riding through the mountains, and my first time paragliding as well, some shipwreck scuba diving, and seeing tons of wildlife, including snorkeling slash interacting with sea lions, which turned out to be one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. Met some penguins and even whale watching. It was low season, so we doubted our chances of seeing any, but to our surprise, we still saw whales on 10 to 15 different occurrences. So we have finally arrived to Buenos Aires for the reason why I came here, training. So as you can probably guess, I have been itching to train. One of the difficult things about traveling is that you take so much time off exploring the country, that you feel like every day is going to damage your training and level. So after asking my following, I decided to visit one of the gyms that kept getting mentioned and we're heading straight there from the Buenos Aires airport. So as you can see, I packed super light. This is all we have. Obviously this is my fiance's uh, carry-on. We're actually running a bit late because the airport is crazy. There's so much full and no taxis. Here we are, United Flight Center. Hi, uh, I'm from Puerto Madryn. Puerto Madryn. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, I take you. Okay. Oh, you guys are finished? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll see you next uh, time. Bye. Bye. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. My English is not very, very no good. No problem. Sorry I'm late. We just came from the airport, so we... No, no problem, man. You can change? Instagram and YouTube, everyone told me to come to this gym if I'm gonna be in Buenos Aires. Now I'm jumping into the gi, training some jiu jitsu. Can you tell me a bit about the jiu jitsu system here? Well, well we are an open school, uh, granted in Brazil, worldwide, and we have a very good jiu jitsu team. We have an MMA professional team here training. We do events here, and I, I, I'm happy people like it and people come here to train all the time and recommend it to you. Yeah, we have a it's good location. We welcome everybody. Everybody wants to come and train hard and have fun. This is the place to be. This is the number one jiu-jitsu team in, in uh, Buenos Aires. Yeah. 
Nobody knows you're the team, the number one team in the country today. Perfect, perfect. Can't wait to jump the fight. Alan, after three weeks of vacation, eating steak every day, every day, he's competing in the Jiu Jitsu tournament this weekend. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> I learned from you. I will teach you for 